What's going on boys? This is Nox and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to showcase a PoE build that I was working on. Uh, I wanted to start making some PoE content, so here it is. This is a Burning Arrow Elementalist, as you see on the screen. Uh, I'm just popping a Legion here, and I just want to showcase some gameplay on what I consider to be the weakest version of this character. So, I just finished completing Act 10, killing Act 10 Katava. Um, I think I'm still missing some skill points from some of the quests in the campaign as well. Uh, this is no cluster jewels, but it is has some leveling uniques. Um, I'm currently using the first version of Zoff's bow, um, Zoff's inception, I think. I haven't even upgraded it to uh, the end game version. This is a uh, burning arrow on a six link on a tabula. I'm just using uh, burning arrow, unbound ailments, elemental damage with attacks, deadly ailments inspiration for the mana cost reduction and extra LA damage and GNP. So I just want, kind of wanted to showcase the very beginnings of this build. So if you were to pick it up and try it yourself, you would be able to see what it would feel like in the very beginning. There's obviously a long way to go from here. Again, this is only like a level 68 character. So we don't have any cluster jewels. We don't have any end game uniques, really. We don't have any, you know, we don't have a watcher's eye. All of our gems are super low level, as you'll see. I think malevolence is only like level five or six or something in this map, in this frozen cabins map here. And yeah, what you're seeing, however, is the really awesome ignite prolif of Barrett's respite. So Barrett respite, if you don't know. Um, when you kill an ignited enemy, it inflicts an equivalent ignite on each nearby enemy. So as soon as you kill one thing, it sort of functions like an explosion chest where everything sort of spreads around all the packs around it. And so it just provides like this very, very nice clear. And obviously as we get our ignite DPS up, it will feel like a dream to play. I mean, most of the time leveling throughout the campaign, everything was dead off screen by the time I showed up. <clears throat> Burning Arrow does have quite a long range because of its projectile speed, and so it really allows us to have some nice, comfortable clear and some halfway decent single target damage, as you will see coming up. I think um, the upgrade path for this character is pretty straightforward. You can obviously get some get get some more life. This is a freshly kept character on a tabula, so we don't have any life on our chest piece. We're using a Karui Ward for our amulet, and so. All of these pieces, basically all of these pieces, except for the belt and the barracks respite are going to be replaced fairly quickly. But, th but this is sort of like how the gameplay loop will feel. Obviously everything else will add to its damage overall. We are using Wave of Conviction here. We are using flammability for some single target and some extra damage on certain rares, but eventually that won't become, that will become unnecessary. Uh, the other thing to mention is I haven't even done Merciless Lab with this. This is two, this is four ascendancy points, I think. Yeah, I did Normal and Cruel Lab, I think. So this is a very, very fledgling character. On the next video, you'll sort of see what the, what, what more of the end game looks like. We'll be doing some red maps, etc. Um, and just as we're getting to the boss here, I just kind of wanted to showcase the single target that it sort of already has. This is again on Awakener level eight. This is only like a, you know, this is a white map, so nothing crazy, but as you can see, we're even with GMP and doing no swaps at all, we're melting the boss rather comfortably. And additionally, it has quite a bit of life and tankiness for a bow build. So let's get into the character and I will show you what we're working with. So this is the character, uh, Fiery Goth GF, and we're a level 67 elementalist with only two ascend or two labs done. So the the upgrade path here is we're definitely gonna get these other golem nodes to make us ailment immune, as well as increase the buff effect of our elements um, of our of our golems and give us an additional golem. And then I can't really decide. I think I'm probably going to go for the Bastion of Elements here because it makes us immune to reflect. And this is a pretty substantial shield um, for elemental damage. And I think bow builds could use that extra thickness. But getting back to the gear here, we're just using, like I said, we're just using a Zoff's Inception, which we can upgrade now because I do end up, I actually had a blessing of Zoff laying around. Um, I ended up getting this myself, just farming on other characters. This is a very, very cheap bow that you can get a five link for just a few chaos and then upgrade it for yourself. 
the upgraded version does have, of course, there's gems in it. Uh, the upgraded version does have built-in level 20 Ignite Prolif. So with this here, we have um, a pseudo seven link once we get this linked all together. And I'm pretty excited to start using this and see where the character takes me. Additionally, I picked up this replica Ember Wake for 40C or something along those lines there. Um, it does have reduced ignite duration, which is not so good, but it does have ignites you deal, um, ignites you inflict deal damage 49% faster when you quality it up with some catalysts. So that combined with uh, the Didian Dawn pretty much gives us 100% increased um, ignite tick rate, so to speak. So all of our damage is now condensed into a lot, um, a lot, a lot shorter ignites, which is okay because burning arrow we want to be stacking up multiple times anyway so on a single target fight you're going to have five stacks of this once you get a reasonable amount of attack speed and this as the baseline deals at at, at level 20 anyway 40 percent of the ignite damage per second per stack of burning arrow so you'll have 200 percent of the ignite damage per second once you have five stacks and like I said, this is just very humble beginnings gear. We're using High Raise Bite just for the dexterity. Uh, Didi and Dawn is going to be our end game belt. Barracks Recite is going to stick around for a while. We need some new gloves. This is a gold rim. These are seven link steps. So I have basically no stats on my gear whatsoever. And you could see that it was clearing maps quite comfortably and handling bosses quite comfortably as well. So I just wanted to showcase the very beginning of this character let you guys know what I was working on and I will be back with another update video with this something a little bit more min maxed we're probably going to swap out the gold rim for a blizzard crown with a burning arrow enchant we're going to be swapping out the chest piece for probably a six link astral plate of some kind I'm not sure if I'm going to go explodey chest on this one it doesn't really seem like it needs it for the clear because of your barracks respite but we will see. I might do a, you can inflict an additional curse. So that way we can have flammability and elemental weakness. I think that will be very nice indeed. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday on Twitch. Link to that is in the description below. If you want to see this character is sort of project work in progress. And I will catch you guys next time.